so the next topic under our discussion is that is position of elements in periodic table if you take position of elements in periodic table here the elements position depends on the electronic configuration of elements electronic configuration of elements and this electronic configuration should be in the form of differentiating differentiating electron that is the last electron the last electron of element so for example when you say position of the elements in periodic table we can take that is position of elements position of elements depends on position of elements depends on that is blocks of periodic table so when you say blocks of periodic table when you say blocks of periodic table here blocks of periodic table is made up of as block as block b block d block and uh, f block elements so if you go for s block element if you go for s block if you go for s block element if you go for s block element example we can take that is 1a group i'm taking 1a group sodium and 2a group that is magnesium why the sodium and magnesium of 1a group and 2a group belong to s block because the last electron of sodium that is the 11th electron of sodium and the magnesium if we take the 12th electron of magnesium because sodium atomic number is 11 and magnesium atomic number is 12 so the 11th electron of sodium and the 12th electron of magnesium they enter into their respective s orbitals so that you that you will come to know when you write the electronic configuration if you write the electronic configuration if you take sodium this is the expanded form of writing the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 2p6 and the last electron is 3s1 i am underlining i am underlining the 11th electron into which the orbital is assigned for sodium the 11th electron is 3s orbital similarly if you go for magnesium atomic number of magnesium is 12 so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3 this is yeah here we have 11 electrons and here we have 3s2 that means the last two electrons of magnesium are being filled in 3s atomic orbital hence it is proved that both sodium and magnesium they belong to s block elements similarly if you go for p block elements if you go for p block elements if you go for p block elements example we can take third a group third a third a group that is we can take aluminium fourth a group we can take silicon and fifth a group fifth a group you can take phosphorus sixth a group you can take sulfur and seventh a group you can take that is chlorine seventh a group you can take chlorine so if that is the case if you take aluminium aluminium with atomic number 13 aluminium with atomic number 13 we can take 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. 13th electron of aluminium is being entered entered into 3p orbital. That is why we can say that aluminium of third A group belongs to P block. Similarly, if you go for silicon, atomic number 14, we can take that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2 3s2 3p2 we can see that in the case of aluminium the last electron the differentiating electron is entering into the 3p orbital 
and in the case of silicon again the last two electrons they are entering into the the last two electrons that is the differentiating electron the last two electron and the 14th electron of silicon is entering into the 3p orbital that is why we can say silicon belongs to p block element and aluminium also belongs to p block element likewise you can go for that is sulfur sulfur if you take uh, 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s 3s2 3s2 3p already we have filled up 10 electrons 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 4 you can see that 16th electron is being entering into the 3p orbital so likewise you can go for even uh, that is sulfur atomic number is 16 so you can go for the electronic configuration of chlorine also chlorine atomic number is 17 so 1s2 2s2 2p6 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 that means the 17th electron of the chlorine differentiating electron is entering into the p orbital the 16th electron of sulfur is entering into the p orbital that is 14th electron of silicon is entering into the p orbital and 13th electron of aluminium is entering into the p orbital that means the differentiating electrons that is the last electrons of each and every element is entering into the respective orbitals so based on the entering of the valence electron or the last electron that is the differentiating electron into its respective orbital we can decide the element belongs to that particular group or that particular block we can say that these four elements they belong to p block elements because the differentiating electrons are entering into their respective atomic orbitals